picks up his 10th strikeout, and the Beavers are on top of the college baseball world again. Into our plan perfectly. You know, we uh, we succeeded in doing exactly what we wanted to do. Uh, ever since the end of last year, is, is uh, just to finish um, finish it off, and uh, it, it doesn't get any better. Than this. Oh God, you did it, man. You did it, man, from hitting behind you in the same batting order to 1v1 of you on Rust almost every weekend and playing with each other on free-for-all, trying to get nukes, to you getting drafted 37th overall in the first round and then winning a College World Series. I'd send my cap off to you, bro. Watch out for the hair. Watch out. The Oregon State Beavers took the national championship yesterday against Arkansas. It was a great game. I don't know the pitcher's name for Oregon State, but he had a lights-out performance. He went the entire game throwing 129 pitches. The guy was immaculate. That's all that you can say. And then we see my boy Caden Gunner in the first inning on a hit and run, scoring the first run of the game. I was watching it live. I was like, yeah. Yeah! The last time I was this excited while watching baseball was when my boy Nolan Kingham, his brother Nick, made his Major League debut and almost threw a perfect game in his first start. Hard hit, Moran there. Colin Moran throws him out. Likely it for Nick Kingham. What a story, what a debut. Now let's take a step back real quick because I just mentioned a brand new name, Nolan Kingham. Nolan Kingham is a starting pitcher for the Texas Longhorns. Caden Grenier drafted in the first round this year, the starting shortstop of the Oregon State Beavers who just won the championship. I know him as well. And then one more name I'm gonna throw at you guys is Eric Ullman. You probably have never heard that name before, but we all played on the same team. There was Eric Ullman, Nolan Kingham, Caden Grenier, myself. I know it wasn't the best and I quit because coaches. I'm gonna get into that in just a second. Don't you dare quit baseball if you love it because of a coach, okay? I'll get into that, just give me some time. So we had Caden at the leadoff spot, we had me at the number two spot, we had Nolan at the number three, and Eric Ullman at the number four. I can't believe that all of those guys have been drafted except for me. I wish I never would've quit, man. But the best part about this is I was a center fielder, okay? And I got to watch all of these guys do their thing on a daily basis. I got to see Caden make the most amazing, I can't, the, the plays that this kid would make, I'd be standing in center field, okay, I'm jogging, I'm thinking, oh my gosh, it's gonna get through, and then Caden dives out of nowhere and gets the baseball, and then throws him out with the coolest sidearm throw I've ever seen in my life. I don't know how he did it. The second baseman for the Oregon State Beavers was drafted, I think, number two overall. He is known for his glove. He is not playing shortstop because Kane Grenier is starting for them. So that just kind of goes to show you how good my man Grenier is at fielding the baseball and just at baseball in general. The guy can fly as well. So I want you guys to understand that Kane Grenier is going to make, he's going to make a huge splash in Major League Baseball. And I want you guys to go follow him down below. I will leave his Twitter in the description down below. So please go follow him. Tell him that I sent you. Tell him I said what's up. I know it's been a while since we've spoken. I know we DM'd a couple days ago saying just, Congrats on being drafted. I haven't DM'd him yet about the national championship, but my boy Caden making big moves out here. And then also I will leave the link to Nolan and Eric as well because Nolan was drafted in the 12th round this year. Eric was drafted in the fourth round by the Cubs last year. So guys, go follow them because my teammates... <laughs> They're making me proud, man. Now, I know this is not the longest video ever, but I have sort of a rant for you guys, and this is something that I've never wanted to address in life. It's something called regret. I never want to have regret in life, but this is my one and biggest regret that I have dating back to when I was born. So if Caden got drafted in the first round, I hit right after him, the next hitter got drafted, and then the next person after that got drafted as well, that must have meant I was kind of good. And to be honest with you guys, I never wanted to be that guy that boasted about their skills, and I never was that guy. I was like, I'm all right, but I I was pretty nice at baseball. I don't know if I have clips that I can show you, but I mean, it just goes to show you that you can't let anything get in your way. The only thing getting in the way of you pursuing your dreams is you. My excuse for not playing baseball anymore is the fact that I did not like my coach. In fact, I hated my coach. There was two of them. So there wasn't just the one that I didn't like. There was two that I just, I could not stand going to practice because every time I showed up to practice, I was upset. I was depressed. I would go home and I would just eat Taco Bell. If I didn't show it, I'm going to show you guys a clip right now of how chubby I was. And this is just dating back to last year. So from the end of my junior year to that point, I gained about 30, 35 pounds so you can tell just by my face of this next clip that I was not happy the first two clips are going to be I hit two home runs in the same inning what you do a hanging slider what are you You're like 13 years old so people like Caden, Nolan, Eric, and even someone like my younger brother, who I think is going to be drafted one day, and I can't wait to watch him play in Major League Baseball, you have to be passionate about the game. And if you have passion, do not let a coach, do not let a parent, do not let anyone get in your way of pursuing your dream of becoming a Major League Baseball player. Not only will it pay off when you are making hundreds of thousands, maybe even millions of dollars, you can finally say that you proved all the haters wrong, that no one stood in your way, you had a goal in mind, and you achieved it. 
props to you. So don't do what I did, and whether it's baseball, basketball, swimming, tennis, I don't know what you're doing, what esports even, do not quit because someone is in your way. The only person stopping you from doing exactly what you want to do in life is you yourself. So guys, always keep that in mind. The biggest thing that I always regret in life is quitting baseball. I wish I would have pursued it a little bit harder. Now that I'm getting older, and to be honest with you, the last time that I played with Caden was like, seven or eight years ago and now it's already almost July of 2018. Time is flying by. You have no time to waste. So please follow your dreams. Don't let anyone get in your way. And I think that's it. Yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy, subscribe because we're almost at 40,000 subscribers. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.